Texas Department of Health lab in Austin confirmed a fourth skunk in the Mission Valley area was positive for rabies. This is now the second skunk in the Mission Oaks neighborhood positive for rabies. Karina has more now with the director of Animal County Animal Services. Karina. That's right, James. I'm here with Mark Sloat, Director of Victoria County Animal Services. Thank you for being with us today. No problem. Glad to be here. So, like James said, this is the fourth skunk in Mission Valley to be positive for rabies, and two more were sent today to the Austin lab for testing Correct. for this specific reason. So, my question is, would skunks with rabies attack cats or, you know, feral cats or other pets, you know, despite their non-aggressive behavior? Sure, so that's one of the key signs that something's wrong with the skunk. Mm -hmm. Two of them that we've had, uh, actually, in, in these four cases have chased dogs, oh, which wow. is very peculiar for a mm -hmm. skunk. Their, you know, their mechanism is the defensive mechanism of spraying and then running away. So the fact that these animals were out during the day, which they're normally mostly nocturnal, mm -hmm. and that they uh, were chasing animals instead of trying to, you know, to get away from them was very, mm -hmm. very concerning. Um, so that's one of the signs to look for. The one we were out on today, I actually uh, had to pull it out from underneath the deck myself. Um, was tipping over in the yard. The guy said it looked, you know, as if it was acting sick. out of order. Right. Right. Like a, sometimes people say it, it's like the animal's drunk. Got so it. that's a that's a classic sign. So we know that the common transmission of rabies is through saliva, but can pets get them if you leave food out or dishes out and a skunk drinks or eats from them? So it's a little a little bit harder, but as long as the rabies is wet, it's considered to be able to be transmitted. Mm. So the the outside the animal life cycle is very short. But with that in mind, we do recommend that people don't leave, especially cat food out overnight. But any pet food should be put up at night. Even if, if we didn't have a rabid skunk issue, mm -hmm. it's, it's better to keep those critters away from your home if there's not a food source Got for it. them. They, they tend to not stay. They'll just cruise through your yard and be gone. Okay. And so what methods are being used to locate, trap, and test these rabid skunks? So, so all of the skunks we've had have been called in because they were sick or they were doing something peculiar. So a couple of them were shot by the landowners and, and not in the head. So we were able to send the head into the, to the state lab to be tested. And then the ones today that we got, um, one of them we actually euthanized. And then last week, one of them we euthanized. We caught it because it was sick. It was in a trap. Got it. And so one of my last questions for you is how rapidly can or could this spread from county to county? So I actually just got off the phone with the Zoonosis Control Region 8 uh, head veterinarian and she said because we, we share, you know, a couple different county lines, Lavaca County's had a couple of skunks this year. We're kind of in a, in a 10 to 20 year cycle with rabies and uh, it it doesn't spread that far usually because ra skunks don't travel that far, but it is a mating season. We're just coming down off the peak of mating, so it should it should subside rather quickly. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mark, for your time. I appreciate you no, today. I appreciate being here.